Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about a, uh, a topic that you might encounter quite frequently. Um, it's about how our uh, skin and sweat glands controls uh, the pores of our on our skin. And when <coughs> so normally when a healthy person um, his uh, skin pores is able to uh, open and close based on um, our environment, environmental temperatures. So when we are exposed to cold, uh, the pores will close to prevent uh, we losing any body heat or to prevent any outside of uh, cold temperature to invade into our body. And when it's hot outside, we are able to open. The pores are able to open, and we can release some heat from our body by sweating and uh, by opening the pores. Uh, <clears throat> so that's basic function of our pores. And as well, also, um, it's also where we, uh, where the sweat comes up. So <clears throat> the sweat comes from the sweat glands and pass through the pores and exit our body. So kind of like this picture. Um, so sweat comes from here and exit through our skin, um, passing through the pore. So <clears throat> there are times when this, when our pore is not uh, functioned properly. So there are few scenarios, uh, three scenarios we, we've seen quite often is one uh, is when you catch a cold. Um, when you're in Chinese medicine, when uh, we say when our body is ex exposed to wind or to cold, basically to like really extreme weather, um, <clears throat> this coldness or wind can invade into our body and causing malfunction of our, our, our pores. And um, in Western medicine view, the virus or the bacteria invade into our body, make a, making us sick. So in case number one, when this ex, uh, outside pathogen invades our body, first scenario is that they can cause the malfunction of our pores. So the pores is not able to close, not able to open more. It's basically kind of stuck in uh, in certain certain size, I say, it's kind of like your computer freezes and not able to do anything. So when this happens, um, uh, this type of person will experience uh, a cold or flu type of symptom. They have fevers, aversion to cold, especially aversion to wind, meaning that um, when there's a draft or wind blowing on their body, they feel they get really, really discomfort. Um, so this type of person, this type of, when this happens, this person will uh, have a mild fever and, and, and also one thing very important is what we call um, a spontaneous sweating. So when you're not doing any activity, um, but you're sweating, when, not because it's hot or not because you're doing exercise. <coughs> so. <coughs> When this happens, uh, normally what we do is we give the patient this herbal formula called Gui Zi Tang. It has uh, cinnamon branches and uh, I think peony roots, ginger, dates, uh, licorice um, in this formula. It kind of improves the circulation of our superficial uh, <coughs> superficial layer of our body. So basically you can see it as in muscles or skin, and that will restore the function of your pores. So, and it will also help break, help your body kind of break a mild, mild, mild sweat. <clears throat> so your skin will be kind of moist, but not like drop dripping, dripping type of sweating. Okay. As uh, scenario number two is that. Uh, uh, when your body is exposed to cold, this pore kind of closed completely and is not able to open again. Um, so in this, if the person is experiencing that, uh, they will generally have like a fever, uh, a very high fever, 
and chill at the same time. So they, you can, when you measure their temperature, it's, they can, it's hot. And when you touch your forehead or even on the skin, you can feel the hot, the heat. But this person will feel very cold at the same time. So you, this he or she will need a lot of blanket and still tells you that, um, that he or she is very cold. When this happens, we generally give this person uh, Ma Huang Tang. Ma Huang Tang is a stronger function of, of um, making this person break a sweat. So the, the Ma Huang is uh, ephedra. It, it has a function of like strengthening the heart and, and that will uh, allow the pores to, op to be opened and, and break a sweat. So <clears throat> after you take a person takes Ma Huang Tang, they would have a little bit more sweating than a person who took Gui Zhu Tang. <coughs> the third scenario is um, <coughs> when when you are exercising or when when you're jogging or doing any kind of activity at, outside and your body is ex exposed to cold or wind and this this poor this pore kind of closes and <clears throat> maybe not completely closed like like one uh, like my hometown patients um, but it it happens when during this person is about to sweat so uh, sweat is coming out but it, it is blocked by the pores so sweat is kind of covered it's kind of stays between the superficial layer of the skin and this can cause uh, red, redness, um, rashes, and itchiness, like small bumps, or what we, um, the common name is like a inverse acne, uh, acne inversa. Um, and so there can be pus forming under the skin and things like that. So when this happens, we generally give half of the Kui Zutang, half of form, half of the Ma Huang Tang, mix them together, give this to patient to reach, to kind of force open this pore, but not as strongly as only giving Ma Huang Tang. So kind of like an in-between formula to help this person restore the function of, of the pores. And that when the pore is functioned properly, the sweat can come out and whatever was hidden here will, will uh, has the like like the push from has a force of Ma Hong Tang kind of push whatever is out. <coughs> so Gui Zhu Tang help restore the function of uh, the pores. Ma Hong Tang pushes the sweat out to exit our body, and that will stop the itchiness and redness um, <coughs> just by doing that. So there's a patient that was uh, in the Vancouver Sun Run. Uh, this year we had. We had rain and hail during our sun run, especially I think towards the last third or last quarter of our sun run. Uh, it was a 10 kilometer uh, run. Um, <clears throat> so before the day started, it was a little bit chilly because it starts in the morning, still April weather. And as you run, you warm, you started warming up, your pore would start to open, right? You start sweating. Uh, your body's uh, releasing heat to kind of help cool you down, but at the same time, when the rain, <coughs> as we this year we had rain and hail, so the temperature dropped very quickly. So when your your body is trying to release heat, and rain comes and cold temperature comes, it kind of blocks whatever is happening there. Kind of they're fighting um, with equal force. <coughs> So basically, that's what happened to this patient, and she the next day after the sun run, she had a outbreak of rashes and it's very very itchy. It was red, it's bumpy, and you can see it on my uh, Instagram photo or on my Facebook photo. Um, <clears throat> there was a post of uh, before we took the medicine and two days uh, after after two days of medicine. So. After two days of taking this uh, half, please have my um, the 
the itchiness has resolved quite a lot and the, you can see the bumps has uh, reduced in size and after about four days um, the, uh, the condition is completely resolved um, because this is an acute case so it resolves very quickly and some people do have chronic case of this condition of uh, ac acne inversa or um, there is another name called hydrodenitis something sorry the name's too long I can't remember anyways um, so basically this is what happened and and if you have any question or comment feel free to post it below and i'll see you next time bye